Hey, what's up, Facebook peeps? It's Mandy with MyTrainerMandy.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MyTrainerMandy. So today I wanted to take some time to record this video really quick. I was a little emotional today because I've been getting a lot of um, Facebook requests, you know, people messaging me, asking me about my program, and then telling me their story about things that they're going through, um, whether it be that, you know, they're in pain or they've had all kinds of surgeries or that they're on all kinds of medications and things like that. Um, you know, I had someone, you know, messaging me about their child being overweight and how they want to set a good example for their child. And anyway, these things are very touching to me for one, because I myself have been through some struggles in the past with my health and I know how it feels, um, for one to be desperate and want help and, you know, really desiring answers and support from someone. Um, but also too, because, uh, you know, I'm just really passionate about helping other people. I don't like to think about other people being in pain um, or even, you know, the innocence of a child, you know, that unfortunately we have so many children out there now that are suffering from childhood obesity just simply because the parents are uninformed and don't know. So this message, you know, or video is not here to... um you know, condemn anyone or point fingers or make anyone feel bad. But, you know, it's really important that um, as adults, that parents set a good example for their children and change their lifestyle to eating healthier and taking care of themselves and exercising and things like that to actually teach their children these good habits as well so that when the children grow up into adulthood, you know, that they're healthy and they're able to take care of themselves and, of course, continue to set a good example for, you know, their children and whatnot. Um, so, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Uh, unfortunately. So, you know, it's not always just about weight loss. Uh, it seems like this day and age, you know, we're only concerned about aesthetic appearances and, you know, how are we going to look and we need to get Botox or all these different things, you know, that people want to do the weight loss surgeries and whatnot, you know, the extreme measures that people go to. Um, and really, if you just change your lifestyle and change your dietary habits and you start eating real whole food and taking care of your body mentally, physically, and emotionally, you're going to have that shine on the outside, you know, what Whatever's going on internally is expressed on the outside. So, you know, with my program, of course, I'm a personal trainer. A lot of it has to do with, you know, the aesthetic appearance of weight loss and getting fit and being lean and, and looking a certain kind of way. But in, in all actuality and in reality, what I am most passionate about and what I preach um, about in my program is more about, you know, being healthy and, you know, making the right kind of choices when it comes to food and stuff like that. So, uh, I want to point out, you know, that you can't be who you used to be and be who you want to be at the same time. And that quote is from Bishop T.D. Jakes. I actually shared that, I think, last week at some point. Um, but it's so true. You know, you can't have a certain kind of lifestyle and expect to be healthy and expect to look a certain kind of way. You know, if you're going out and you're drinking every weekend or you're drinking every night, you know, beer and wine when you get home from work. And if you're not exercising and you're completely stressed out and, you know, you hate your job and you're miserable in your life or whatever, like all that is going to eventually manifest and appear, um, you know, like I said, in your health and then in your outer appearance. Um, so, you know, I really believe that mindset is key. And if you don't change your mindset, then you're not going to get anywhere. And it doesn't matter if we're referring to weight loss or we're referring to, you know, potentially you, you know, finding the love of your life or uh, getting a particular job or whatever it is that, you know, you have your sight set on. So one thing I like to encourage people to do is to only think about what you do want. Don't think about what you don't want, because wherever your focus goes, that's what you're going to attract. And I know I touched on that a while back in my other video, um, but it's really important to think about, you know, only only what you do want because that's what you're wanting to bring into your life and when you change your mind you can change your life and honestly guys you can have the best program in the world you can have the best trainer in the world you can have you know the best cheerleader in the world but if you don't make up your mind to make a change for yourself then it's never going to happen and if you don't change your mindset you can have this program sitting there all day long and you can make excuses well you know what you know it's a cool program and I like it and all and, and maybe it would work but I'm too busy or I, you know something else has come up so the main thing is is figure out what it is that you want in your life if if you have to get out a piece of paper and make a list, you know, make a list of the things that you do want. It doesn't matter what kind of situation you're in right now. It doesn't matter what your health looks like or what your outer appearance looks like or even your freaking bank account looks like. None of that really matters. What matters is, is what you do want. So make a list of that, you know, um, have also to a gratitude list, something uh, that shows you the things that you do have that you are thankful for and just change your focus.
focus. Change your focus to more of gratitude and appreciation and focus on what you do want in your life and just watch those things begin to manifest. You know, out of nowhere, those things will just start coming into your life. People will start coming into your life and speaking to you and there will be things that you will start seeing and hearing and you're like, wow, you know, that's that's awesome. I was actually thinking about that, you know, and it's not magic. It's law of attraction and, and I had touched on this before, but you know, it's law and it's there and there's nothing that we can do to deny it. Um, so I don't know. This video really was just to encourage people to, um, you know, become whoever it is that you want to be. Stop making excuses. Stop putting yourself last. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Get your mind right. You know, like I said, make a list, change your focus, get some pictures out, create a visualization for yourself, um, a vision board, whatever it is that works for you guys. And I love you so much. I hope you're having an amazing day. As always, if you ever have any questions, please just send me a private message on Facebook or feel free to comment below this video. Um, I love each and every one of you so much, and I hope you're having an amazing day. So God bless. Take care.